Yeah, what's up you guys? This is Gasson coming back and we're doing a top five video for you. If you are wondering what are the best spells out there, in case you don't have the freeze and rage spell yet, then this is going to be a good uh, top five video for you to help you understand which are the best spells that you can use if you're pushing or farming. I really try to think how can I balance this out. I know most people aren't Town Hall 10s. So I kind of had to uh, change my top five a little bit to accommodate everybody who aren't high level players. So let's go ahead and kick it off. Let's start at our number five. Coming in at number five, it's the heal spell. Now, although this is a number five spell, that does not mean it is weak in any way. Primarily, the heal spells are used to regenerate the health of your troops and keep them in the fight. The radius of the heal spell is quite large, healing lots of your troops that are attacking the enemy base. The heal spell can go to level 6 and cost about 24,000 elixir. The total heal is about 1600 and takes 30 minutes to create. Although I personally don't use it that much, the healing spell is great for lower level play as well as high level if you're using hog riders and giants. Giants specifically because Putting your giants in the battle and having them lock onto a weapon most likely will guarantee a successful heal while your backup troops can come from behind and take out the rest of the building structures. Now when I was playing, you could only heal ground troops, however it looks like the targets are switched from ground to air so this could bump up the heal spell, but I'm going off of my impressions when I was first playing the game. So if you're ever looking for a spell to help out your giants or hog riders, then this one's the way to go. Yeah, coming in at number four is the jump spell. Now you won't unlock the jump spell until you are higher town hall level, but when you do, you can jump for joy. The jump spell can last about 60 seconds throughout the battle and costs a whopping 31,000 elixir. It takes about 45 minutes to train and is targeted for ground troops. Now the new patch for the jump spell has it so that your troops are pulled into the jump spell instead of walking away to a different target. However, with my experience, sometimes a king and queen can have a mind of their own, but that should not stop you from checking out this jump spell. Now you will find a lot of top level players using this just because they don't like taking in lots of wall breakers and would rather just jump the walls. Although the jump spell radius has been reduced with this new update, it is still very effective and does the job when it's needed. So if you're ever tired of using your face to get through walls, this jump spell won't let you down. Looking to zap your way to a better base? Then I got something just for you. Coming in at number three is the lightning spell. Most notably as a way of zapping dark elixir, the lightning spell has a total damage of 450 and only costs 24,000 elixir. It has an area splash and only takes 30 minutes to train up. Now this targets ground and air, making it a perfect tool to stop clan castle troops and air units. Now this was a hard choice to make because the lightning spell is used in top level play as well as farming and depending on what they have in their clan castle can turn the tides in your favor if you can get them all into one spot. Barge players will be happy they brought this spell along if they wish to take out weapons such as wizard towers and mortars that do splash damage on their troops. So if you're ever looking to farm or just want to cause some damage with the touch of a finger, the lightning spell is for you. Ah, nothing like an ice cold attack. Looking for a way to put the freeze on weapons and troops? Then this spell is for you. Coming in at number two is the freeze spell. Now although you won't find farmers using freeze spells, it is a necessity if you're pushing trophies. Simply because the infernal towers just do too much damage on your troops for you to just let them run loose like that. Now at level five, the freeze spells last about eight seconds and cost 35,000 elixir. It takes about 45 minutes for them to train and only targets ground. Now although typically they are used to stop infernal towers, some players are using them to stop clan castle troops as well as weapons such as teslas now that they have such a higher damage output. So if you're ever looking for something similar to a timeout inside the battle, then this spell is for you. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. So what is it? Well it should come to no surprise. The Rage spell is the top spell in the spell factory. Increasing your character's speed and attack, turning your troops into raging monsters, the Rage spell is a player's favorite. Upgrading it as high as level 5, it does 170% increased damage and increases your troop speed by 28. It does take 45 minutes to train and is 33,000 elixir, but it's worth it as it affects both ground and air units. 
Deployed in the proper place, a rage spell can be a player's best friend if their heroes manage to get locked onto a town hall, guaranteeing them the victory. So it's not hard to see why this is the number one spell in the game and earning the number one spot on my countdown. So that concludes my top five. Agree with my list? Let me know what your top five spells are in the comment box down there. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Godson out.